What was once an abstract, complicated, mostly ignored form of currency is now owned by about one in every seven or eight Americans, according to the latest estimates. With so many recent headlines about cryptocurrency, we take an in-depth look tonight at what's driving the crypto craze and whether it's something you should be considering. The first thing to understand about Bitcoin is it's not a coin. Despite images of coins that you may have seen on TV or the Internet, there are no high-tech factories that stamp and distribute them. Think of it more like a PayPal account that turns dollars into a new form of digital money. Cryptocurrency, however, is considered unhackable, and it's also decentralized, meaning the total supply isn't managed by any country's government. I'll even give my For most of her life, 84-year-old Stella Manzanares was a hairdresser. She later invested some money in traditional stocks and mutual funds. And I did okay. But today, she's among more than 20 million crypto investors in America. I bought a few bitcoins when it was low and it got up here and I thought, oh, I'm going to make good money. She now has all the money she needs and has moved on to her grandkids. They are going to be well off when I'm through with them. Helping her navigate the waters of cryptocurrency was crypto enthusiast Dave Benavides, who worked in the tech industry for years before discovering Bitcoin. Jumped in and haven't looked back. Dave believes cryptocurrency is simply the latest step in the evolution of money that relies less on paper today than ever before. People have moved away from that to credit cards. Okay, now you're moving into your phone. You don't need money, you can have it on your phone. Now you're into cryptocurrency. But is it really currency at all? You can't just walk downtown and use it to buy any form of goods or services. For most people, cryptocurrency has become the newest form of investing or even gambling. That's because unlike regular money, the values of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin and thousands of other tokens have spiked wildly in recent years. From his office in London, the CEO of Munch Token admitted over Zoom that most crypto buyers nowadays are looking for a way to make money more than anything else. Obviously, people are looking for the next, they call gems, the next gems so they can uh, multiple fold their, their, their money. Silva hopes his token will stand out from the rest because it donates a percentage of its revenue to charity. We confirmed nearly $3 million has been paid so far to nonprofits. It's definitely the most rewarding thing I've ever been involved with in, in my life. That's, that's for sure. But there is also a very dark side of crypto. There's a risk factor. Dave lost a fellow crypto investor to suicide after the man couldn't handle a major financial loss. Well, he had called me and told me he was going to put an end to it. And I tried to convince him that, hey, you know, there's more, more to life. You know, you got so much to give and all that. And he didn't hear me. Cryptocurrency has also become the payment of choice among hackers using ransomware due to its untraceability. I just don't think it's ready for prime time investment. Brad Harvey is a certified financial planner, and although he sees a future for crypto coins and tokens, the volatility makes him hesitant to recommend it to his clients. I think it is going to grow. However, I still think it's going to be a while before it's anything but a very, very speculative investment. Until recently, not a single country had adopted Bitcoin as an official currency. But El Salvador lawmakers made their country the first in June, and others are considering it. I have a lot of faith in it. And while Stella is all in, financial experts and even the federal government urge investors to do their research and exercise extreme caution. If you are serious about getting into Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, we've put together some great resources to help you learn more so you can make a more informed decision. Just look for this story on KRDO.com.